Yeah, so we presented the results of what we did in a two-year program of the Early Career Investigators, the ECI as we call them. So it's a program that started in 2017 with the first session. We had five sessions where we had um, more than 30 um, young high potentials from different disease-oriented groups and transversal groups within the URTC being identified to follow this program where we introduce them into the structure of the URTC, the mission of the URTC, um, how the landscape of clinical trial research and, and cancer patient care is changing across Europe, what are the threats, what are we dealing with, and also help in developing people with uh, leadership and communication skills. So the main strategy behind the program is that the ERTC is a high-class network of people invested in these different types of areas of cancer, the clinical trial research and cancer care. Um, but we have to cultivate this. We have to identify the potential leaders of tomorrow and really train them to be able to have the correct tools to fill out the leadership and build the ERTC for the next 10 to 20 years and also tackle some of the challenges the organization is facing. So I think the um, program has uh, shown tremendous potential in the fact that already these people will now move on into some of the key positions within the organization, but more than that, they have connected on a level and there's a cross-pollination between groups and between specialties now existing. So these alumni will still continue working very much with the same goals and missions for the future of the URTC in different areas. And it helps the URTC to have a fresh view of its own organization because you have young people that haven't had this experience with the URTC in the past 10, 20, 30 years, but have a fresh outlook on the world and on how the URTC is structured so we can help restructure it to be more sustainable for the next 10, 20 years. So main highlights have been that we had a number of key figures from different stakeholders come in to talk to us. So we had people from HTA, from EMA, from Pharma come in and explain their views on clinical uh, trial research and, and patient care and also how they see the ERTC in this and the relationship with ERTC in this. And that is an eye-opener to see from different perspectives what the view is of ERTC. So one of the main things that was noticed is you know, that we have a tremendous track record, uh, well recognized for high quality and independent cancer research. So we should really stress this benefit to people, uh, but at the same time we need to deal with a few of the challenges. So it's not only just that this program helps ERTC to look at its own organization and reshape its future, but also the takeaway is for the individuals that you help develop your career. So by doing this, it was a good exercise to build a network of colleagues that have the same goals and missions and the same talents as you do, um, and also bring that back to your own institutes and your own departments and your own daily practice in terms of leadership skills and, and communication skills. So also in advancing your own careers, it has been a tremendous benefit to the ECI.